Hi, in this video, we're going to start building our app for our RC car. Now, I'm depending on how long this will take, I might split this up into many different sections, but we'll see how far we can get in this video. To get started, let's create a new Xcode project and let it be a single view app. Click next, and I'm going to call it RC car app. Save it to the desktop. And now I'm going to make it bigger so that you can see better. Zoom, and I'm going to set the device to iPhone, set it to portrait. Let's go to main.storyboard. Now inside main.storyboard, let's start by making a home screen and we'll make our tab bar view as well. So let's right click this, let's go to editor, embed in tab bar controller. Here we are. And now let's drag in a few more view controllers. We're gonna drag in two more, or one more, sorry. Or we're gonna do two more, it doesn't really matter too much. Um, so let's get to our objects library, drag in another view controller, and drag in another one as well. There we go. Now let's link all of these up to the tab bar controller. View controllers, view controllers. And actually, I think we're going to need another view controller as well. And I'm going to put these in a row. So let's drag in another view controller just for the home screen. The home screen is not going to require any programming, which is going to be nice. Also, we can play around with the order of these. So I can drag this one over to the first one. And this one is going to start as home. So the title will be home. This one is going to be normal controller. This one is going to be voice control, which is gonna be something cool that we can add. And this is going to be the uh, joystick control. We're going to add a lot of cool things to this, as you can see. Now, I have this website called Icons 8, which provides these really cool logos that you can get for free. And you can use them, and we're going to use them for our app. So let's go to icons8.com, and I'm going to search up home. Um, we're going to get this one because this one looks the best. We're also going to get as a more another a custom size of uh, usually 32 works the best. And we'll download it. And now we can just uh, drag it into our Xcode project. So we can put it there. And now if I select this bar, I can go to image, select home. And then we can go here, and I'm going to find one for a controller. Um, let's use this one. This one looks nice. And we can put in a normal controller. Then we can put in one for joystick. Um, I think this one would work pretty well. So download. Let's go to joystick. The image will be joystick. And I'm also going to have one for voice. And I guess this one looks pretty nice. So this one will be for the voice control. Looks very good now. So let's um, start with the UI design. 
for the background, I usually prefer a light gray, like this one. And I'm going to do it for each one because I think it looks pretty nice with their project. Same for this one. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and uh, create files for each of these. Um, let's go to File, New, File. We'll create one for uh, the joystick control, controller. We'll create one for the voice control, view controller. Now we'll go back to main.storyboard. Let's select this and make sure it's connected to view controller. This one will be connected to the voice control. And this one will be joystick. And the home won't require anything because it's just instructions. Let's uh, go to the object library and let's drag in a label. The home won't require a file because we're not going to do any changing of anything. And we're not going to intercept anything. I'm going to call it Wi-Fi RC car. Let's make the font pretty big. I'm just going to stretch it out to the max pretty much. And now I'm going to make it to the biggest size that can fit. Okay, and then we'll just put in another label for instructions at the bottom. And it's a little bit too big, so let's put it in two lines. Lines is two. And... That looks good. Now for the normal controller, we're going to have a set of 10, no, 13 buttons. They're all going to be about the same size, so let's drag in one button and we'll make and we'll make 12 copies of it. Actually, yeah, 12 copies. So, let's set the size to 70, which is about the, a good size, 70 width, 70 height. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We're going to drag them into a, a pretty simple formation. You'll get what I mean in a second. Okay, and let's put one at the center. Let's put one to the right. And actually, I think these buttons are too big. So let's uh, select all of them. Let's make them 40 by 40. And we're going to also drag in a bunch of pictures that I have. So I'm going to um, find them, and I'm going to post them below as well. So let's go to Add Files. And I believe they are somewhere here. Uh, I'm not sure exactly where they are. Just going to look for the files arrows. Um, I'm going to add all of these. So this, these will be arrow up. Let's select each of these. And the default image will be arrow. Sorry, arrow up. And their size will be down to 40 and 40. I'm going to drag them over. And let's set, um, so let's select three of three more buttons. These will be left. 
arrow left. And then we select the size to 40 and 40. And depending on how good this is going to fit, let's um, see the size. So I'm going to set these back to arrow down, arrow left, and set the size and move them over first and set their size to 40 and 40. Now we'll select two more, three more, sorry. And these will be set to uh, down. And these are 40 and 40. Then we'll select three more and set these to arrow right. These will also be 40 and 40. The final one will be the arrow will be stop. And it's not an arrow, but the name is still suggested as an arrow. So it's just something that's kind of weird. Okay, so we've got our buttons, and let's arrange them into a formation. So I'm going to put these in a row. Like this. And I'm going to put these in the same row. And then I'll put these in a row. And we'll arrange these rows in a second. Let's arrange these in a row as well. And then we'll arrange these down. These will be perfectly lined up, and then we can put this down here. So we'll, we'll drag all three of these down here. Here's our perfect controller, and a, and a pretty cool UI object that you can drag that looks pretty professional is called the navigation a bar. We'll put one at the top, and we'll call it um, normal controller. And here is our normal controller. Now let's move on to voice control. So in voice control, we're going to have a text box. Um, let me find one. So it's called a text. It's similar to a text field, but it's called a text view. And it's very big. So we're going to make it big. And we're going to have a button at the bottom that says start recording then we're going to have a navigation bar at the top says voice control and that I'm going to make it bigger. And there we go. Now for joystick control, um, we're going to find a custom class online. It's called Joy. I'm just going to search up It's this one. I made this by this guy called Brad Howie's. These joysticks are really useful. Um, what you want to do is you want to just download this zip file from GitHub, and we will find the files. Let's go to the source, and these are the three files we need. So let's um, 
drag them into our Xcode environment. And now we can drag in a view, and we'll change the class of it. So view, um, we want to go to the very bottom, and we're going to have it be a square, so maybe like 240 by 240. And the view is going to be white, but it's going to be a joystick view. It's going to be white, so we know where it is. Joystick view. Now it's a custom class of joystick. And one of the cool things that we can do is we can, to enable the fact that we want to control the car, we have to add in web views to each of these views. We're also going to add in a navigation bar to this one. So we're going to call this joystick control. And we have to add in a web view so that we can execute the web commands. OK, now we're going to drag one into each of these. And the size of it doesn't matter because we're going to eventually end up hiding these. Because we don't want the user to see what, what it looks like on the inside. Now let's copy that. Let's paste it here. And it's not going to interfere with anything because it's just a side project, I guess. OK. And now we are ready for the next section. And in the next video, we're going to continue building this. And we'll start with the code. And we'll see how far we get there. And this video was just all about UI design. Anyway, I'll see you then in the next video. Bye.